some monkey somewhere around here. I think. Held around the tent. They're so close. <laughs> where's my flashlight? Gosh, where's my flashlight? My flashlight. Um, gear is packed. Uh, it's a bit late in the day. I did uh, enjoy the hotel a little bit longer than I expected to. Um, just nice to sit out having coffee and relaxing. But now I'm ready to go. Today the plan is to try to go north Lombok. Uh, there's a few places I like to see. Um, Segenter is a traditional village uh, where they still have the uh, thatched roof houses and the community is quite traditional. There's also a traditional mosque I'd like to visit and um, there's a nice little beach that I found that might be the perfect place to set my camp for the night. So that's kind of the plan, I'll take it easy. First things first though, get some breakfast. So without further ado, let's ride on. I find it really amazing to be able to stop on a beach anywhere you want and it's quite a nice beach as well. So far it's a really nice road, I'm really enjoying the ride. I'm actually forgetting to film stuff because I'm just enjoying it, I'm really in the moment. Lombok is really special in so many ways. Well, I'm going to uh, push on, try to find a place to get some food because I'm getting hungry. And, uh, well, let's ride on. Got some visitors.
Ya kayak ini. Oke. Okay. Berapa per biji? Eh uh, 5 10.000. 5 10.000. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Bisa coba ya? Huh? Ya, yeah, huh. bisa. Tahu bisa. Hmm. Nak suka ni? Nak suka? Ya. Saya mau sepuluh. Sepuluh biji apa sepuluh ribu? Sepuluh biji. Sepuluh tusuk dengan uh, nasi ada ya? Ya. Yeah. Nasi juga. Minta maaf, tidak ada uang kecil. Terima kasih. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih bu. plan is I'm looking for a place called Seganter, which is a traditional village. Um, it should be off the main road, so we shouldn't be too far from it. I was there about 25 years ago, and uh, it was lovely. Don't know what it looks like now, but let's give it a go, okay? So let's ride on. Segenter. Oh, ya dan dulu ini tradisional semua ya. ya. Sekarang sudah sudah rubah ya. Sudah ya. ya. Tadi Segenter lewat. Ya 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 saya lewat ya. Oke okay, oke. Okay. Dan jual apa? Tahu. Oh tahu tahu. Kanada. Kanada. Kanada ya. Hmm. Tapi sudah ya 23 tahun di Surabaya. Hmm. Ya. Oh. Ya. Ya pak. <laughs> Terima kasih. Mari Pak, mari. So, yeah, it looks like uh, our traditional village is no longer traditional. It's changed a lot in 23 years. I guess everything does. Uh, still, it's a nice drive. This nice gentleman here just told me that there's lots of stuff to see down there, villages and so on. So I might take a drive and have a look. Um, 
Next thing on the agenda, there's some old traditional mosque, apparently. Don't know how traditional it is. That maybe we can go and check out. So that's my next thing that I'm going to try. But just taking it easy and riding on these amazing little roads, eh? Pakainya bukanya hari besar Islam. Oh, semakin besok. Ya. Yeah. Besok kan ya. Ya, ya, ya. Masuk. Halo bu. Oh buku tu, oh buku di sini ya. Ah ya. Halo, apa kabar? Tangga. So apparently a traditional mosque. It's open to tourists. Usually mosques are not open to tourists. Uh, especially not to non-Muslims. Makam, that's a, a grave. Lovely to sitting around there. And it's strange, I'm here just during prayer time and you can hear the other mosques in the distance. And it's actually kind of charming. The place is surrounded by rice fields and palm trees. It's a lovely setting actually. Um, entrance, you need to wear a sarong. Women in menstruation cannot come in. Uh, they rent sarongs at the door for 10,000 and then the entrance is only a don donation. They'll try to push you to give like 50 or 100,000, but any donation is good. The old man out there was trying to push to be my guide. This place is not unless you want the whole history behind it. Um, he was charging for this uh, guiding of 50,000, so it's about, not much, about $3 and a half. All right, so um, <clears throat> now it's about four o'clock. I think it's time for me to start looking for a place to pitch my tent. Uh, I got a place in mind, not sure how far it is, but I'll have a look at the map and uh, we'll head straight there. Unless there's something else on the way that uh, warrants our attention. I'll probably try to get some food on the way there as well for my dinner. All right, let's ride on. You think you know it all I'm biting my 
time I know I'm gonna be a star I'm going to Hollywood I'm going to Hollywood I'm going to Hollywood Yeah, that's I'm going to Hollywood I'm going to Hollywood, baby I'll be up to no good you want cause I know I'll be the one who'll be singing the song to cheer up your story life. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood, baby. I'll be up to no good. Say it one more time. I'm going to Hollywood. That's me driving my fancy car. I'm going to Hollywood. apa namanya sayurnya tuh mau pakai apa oh, ya nggak apa-apa saya punya lah uh, indomie untuk malam ini saya pikir mungkin bisa beli nasi di jalan tapi kalau tidak ada makan indomie ya. saya udah baru pulang nih dari Gunung Rejani naik oh sekarang ya dari ya, Rejani, ya. turun oke okay, oke okay. tapi so. jadi porter oh oke okay, oke okay, oke okay, oke okay. porter ya ya okay, okay. baguslah terima kasih pak ya, nah, nama ya. anda siapa ya nama Jana siapa? apa Jana Jana ya Daniel Daniel. Yes, nice to meet you, Jana. Oke. Okay. Yeah. Ya, hati -hati. Uh, okay. Terima kasih, Pak ya. Ya, sama. Well, that didn't take long. Um, on some, uh, on some sand and pulled over on the side. Uh, well, crash bar just bent right away. So um, I guess I'll need to get something else there, get it replaced. Uh, um, anyways, whatever. Life is life. Uh, thank God though, to uh, an old guy and some young guy just kind of came by and helped me bring the motorbike up again. Um, because it's injection, I guess, it took a while for it to, to settle and to start again, but it, eventually it did. And it's fine now. So the only problem is that crash bar. Everything else seems to be fine. I'm fine, but I realized I don't have enough strength in my leg to push that bike up. I tried. I tried to grab it the way that I uh, I saw online, all the things about if you drop your bike. And I pushed. I just didn't have enough strength in my leg. Uh, I've only got my left leg that can push properly, and that's my weak leg. So, so I guess uh, I'll need to be more careful and make sure I don't fall. Uh, in the meantime, let's enjoy the savanna. And in two kilometers, we got uh, the beach coming up. And it looks like I'll be able to spend the night there. There's a little village. I'll see if I can find something. But overall, I've got everything I need. I'll just eat some noodles tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, this is what they call the savanna. Uh, the gentleman asked me at the gate for camping. Uh, to enter 5,000, camping 10,000. Cheap, very nice. So I'm glad. There's no water, there's no nothing, but I've got everything I need to manage tonight, so uh, it'll be good.
to myself and what a spot it is <laughs> hey look at this Well, I did have a bit of a spill. I will need to uh, get proper crash guard or get this one fixed because it's a bit crooked. But frankly, I think it was all worth it. Look at this spot. It's probably one of the most amazing spots I could ever imagine. It's not right on the beach, it's a bit on the cliff, but it's nice and grassy, protected from the wind. I'm gonna have a grand time here today. So uh, next thing is to pitch my tent before darkness. And I guess we're eating noodles for dinner because well, that's my uh, emergency food supply. So let's get busy. Here we are, all settled for the evening. My tent is pitched. Uh, I'm gonna make some dinner. I don't have much, I got some instant noodles. That'll have to do. That was the idea of the instant noodles. Is if I get stuck and I don't find a village before I get to my spot, then that's what I'll be using. And so here it is, me set up. That's uh, noodles. All right, well, noodles are almost ready. Um, that's what it looks like. What can I say? I'm a chef. <laughs> All right, so um, while this finishes, uh, let me just close it for the day. Um, another successful day, despite the little things that happen. That's what's bound to happen on a trip. You know, um, I'm not an expert in anything. I just fake it as I see it. And I can still have a good time and I can still be safe. You don't need a lot of money to do this. Uh, you don't need a lot of experience. You just need to be careful and take it easy. We've not covered much ground today as far as kilometers, but we've had a fantastic journey. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can click the like. And please send me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if uh, you know this area, if you got anywhere that you think I should go in Lombok. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right. Cheers to all of you. And uh, like this here around here, Sampai Jumpa Lagi. If I can Shit Some monkey Some monkey somewhere around here I think <laughs> Held around the tent They're so close <laughs> Where's my flashlight? Gosh, where's my flashlight? My flashlight Oh no, can't 
can't see anything now. I can hear some movement in the branches. I can hear some things moving in the branches. <laughs> it's a bit freaky. It was pretty loud. It was like they were just around the tent. Either they're going quiet because I scared them. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty freaked out though. They were getting pretty loud and pretty close. <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid of much, but a bunch of monkeys is a bit scary. <laughs> what do they call a bunch of monkeys? <laughs> um, yeah, that was a bit freaky. <laughs> Anyways, this is crazy. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go back to sleep. <laughs>